This is Basha today. As 2014 came to an end yesterday, uh, my brand new hobby, which started back on July 1st, um, produced quite a lot of stuff and it keeps me very busy. Uh, all of this stuff came off the beach here at Emerald Isle, North Carolina. So, pennies, quarters, nickels, dimes. Altogether, a little over twenty dollars. Most of it is uh, modern. Those are modern day coins. A uh, couple quarters are older than um, uh, sixty-five. I think sixty-three, sixty-four is what my two oldest ones. So I will separate those two out of this bunch and probably end up using these coins, the rest of them, uh, since they're just face value. Every single coin was dug out with anticipation of something really great. Uh, I've been learning my machine and uh, understanding what the machine is seeing and uh, how, what it's telling me. So it's been a real learning curve. Amazes me all the stuff that people lose on the beach. Here's an example of some other stuff. Spoon. Fork. Lots of these metal uh, stakes that people use to secure their canopies uh, on the beach. And then they take them down and leave these things in the ground. So I have actually found... Uh, 50 of them just through the summer and then turned around and used them for uh, to secure my Christmas yard decoration so they don't blow away. So they came in useful. Here's one pair of pliers and I have two more pairs that are really, really rusty. There's a hammer, um, of course the weights. You have this thing here. Some unknown piece of wire. This, I'm not quite sure what it is. Looks like it's melted. But it, it came in with an extremely high number signal on my machine. Uh, so I had fun, had fun digging this out. And this is a bottle opener. Must have when you're on the beach. So just variety of metal objects. Then, uh, then there's the fishing hooks in the sand. Imagine stepping on one of these guys. And uh, here's another one, nice and rusty. Imagine stepping on that. I do pull out everything that I dig out, and uh, a lot of stuff I will go ahead and dispose of. So. The countless bottle tops and bottle caps and and uh, tabs from uh, beer cans and soda cans. Um, I do dispose of all of that. And here's the stuff that actually I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, everyone always wants to find jewelry, uh, but here's a little truck I found. Uh, E-cigarette hair clips. This was unknown, but that was heart-shaped. This watch, just found this the other day. It's a quartz. The face is missing. The plastic cover or the glass. This ring, thought it was kind of cool. I don't think it has much value. The earrings would be nice if there were two of them, but you find this one's tarnished. Uh, but they're finds and they're jewelry, and uh, I certainly appreciated digging this stuff out. And here's a little charm. And this, right in here, looks like it may have been hanging on a necklace. It's got a stone in the middle and uh, the five blue stones around it. It may have been part of a charm of some sort. So this is my stash. This is all the stuff I found and 
I must say it's been exciting learning this new hobby and learning my my machine and of course the countless hours spent outside on the beach. It's a hobby that I recommend to anyone who had thought about getting a metal detector and doing this. Certainly recommended it highly. It's a lot of fun.